My name's Andrew Goodhead, and I'm the spiritual care lead here at St Christopher's. This year, as part of our 50th anniversary, we're running, we're running a series of conferences looking at some of the foundational aspects of what St Christopher's is all about and what hospice care is all about. One of those conferences is around spiritual care, and on the 26th of May this year, that's a Friday, we have a conference looking at 50 years of spiritual care. Through the day, we've Professor Philip Larkin, Professor Mark Cobb, Canon Peter Holliday and Dr Bella Vivac coming to join us to talk about different aspects of spirituality and spiritual care today. Mark Cobb is going to give us a keynote address in the morning and just bring an overview of what spirituality and spiritual care looks like on the ground for hospices in palliative care now. Bella Vivac is going to share with us some of her findings around conducting spiritual assessments and that promises to be an interesting experience for all of us who are keen to know how it is that we might talk to patients and their family members to understand more about what spirituality, spirituality motivates them. We never really think about the management of spirituality and by that I mean how organisations manage spirituality when it's such a key part of the uh, overall service that we offer. And to do that, we have Canon Peter Holliday, who's a former chief executive of a hospice and now a, a residentiary canon at Litchfield Cathedral. He's going to just give us some thinking around what managing spirituality means from an organisational perspective. In the afternoon, we have Philip Larkin, and many of you may have come across his new book on compassion, and he'll be leading us in the afternoon in presentations and in a workshop around that theme. But he's also going to include something around suffering, because suffering and compassion seem to me to go hand in hand. And they're two things that we don't spend a lot of time thinking about, particularly in terms of spirituality and spiritual care. But they seem, I think, to be motivational to us in our offering of spirituality and our seeking to understand what makes somebody uh, find themselves to be in a place where they would describe themselves as suffering and how compassion motivates us to make the most of being able to respond appropriately. So it's the 26th of May, and it starts at 10 a.m. It'll be in the Education Centre here at St Christopher's. And to find out more information, you can either pick up a flyer, which is available here at St Christopher's, or find more information on the World Wide Web.